Hi guys, what I thought I'd do today is a wee bit more on the Gotan and uh, what I do with the synth on it, which is not a lot and that's what I want to talk about. Sometimes as you're playing gigs, which I've done and uh, you're playing solo, sometimes you really, it's well you don't need to but it's good to be able to fill out the sound of the guitar because sometimes it can sound maybe just a wee bit empty, depending on the music you're playing and the venue you were playing and this is where uh, using a synth comes in handy. Now obviously I don't use it all the time, you don't use it for every tune, but every now and again it's quite a good thing to use. But I'm not really much of a computer hand and there's only really one sound I like and that's using the strings. Uh, I'm using the Roland synth, but any kind of synth that gives you basic sort of synth sound, uh, it really can help in a lot of tunes, it just sort of fills it out. And again the, the trick with it obviously is being quite judicious with it. So again I usually have it just at a halfway mark. Uh, and I'm right on it, so I can adjust it up a wee bit more, a wee bit less, and so forth. And as I say, it doesn't work with every tune, but a tune where there's a lot of single notes, I really can add a wee bit to it. And the Godan is capable of such really lovely tones, which a lot of people I don't think have credit for it. I mean, the tones of the guitar are just lovely. You know? And it's actually very responsive if you're a fingerstyle player. I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, to where you play on the guitar. I mean, these uh, pickups I have are fantastic from, again, the next sound. Right to where the bridge. And I use them quite a lot to my, dis my, to my advantage. And I say, normally I'll have the, the tone controls set at 12 o'clock, except for the treble. And I usually find when I'm playing concerts or something, that's the one thing you need a wee bit of cutting edge just to bring the high-end frequencies up. So that's the one. I've got it up quite high just now but that's the one that I use all the time. But other than that, as I say, it's an extremely versatile guitar. So I thought I'd play something for you uh, using the string effects, and it's just straight strings, there's nothing fancy about it, but I feel it really sort of, you know, fills out the sound. So here we go. <laughs> second part a wee minute but it's just again just to let you hear the sound I'm playing it's just E and there's just a wee bit behind you can hear how it's carrying the note if it's too much it sounds well it sounds too gimmicky and too swampy but when it's just a wee bit imperceptible extra on it it really helps and it's good again for your single notes so more than a single note. And 
again, it really help, helps with a lot of tunes without it being too gimmicky. You like to, you know, the. But again, it's a thing I like using again uh, for certain tunes. Uh, it literally sort of fills it up, it keeps it going. Like so. What's really better than slow tunes doesn't really work so much, uh, good and quick tunes, uh, fast tunes because you're really moving so quick it doesn't really help. Uh, say for example. but you tend to get a wee bit of a lag on it. So as I say, where I actually find it more useful is if playing like a uh, nice slow ballads, you know what I mean, you can hold. <laughs> that sort of thing, I think I've played that before on Keen Times, but that sort of thing, it gives you the, the effect. And as I say, the first tune I was playing there, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Disney tunes are great, by the way, for working on the guitar. And you can find the sheet music for them easily. And I've, I've just put that one down to see, and there's a lot of interesting chords in it. Anyhow, so as I say, it just keeps that nice, a nice effect going. <laughs> the wall stay. they stop it. Anyhow, it's a thing to try. If you're a solo guitarist doing like say restaurants and background gigs and everything like that, I certainly don't suggest you use it for every number because it, like any effect it gets too corny. And there's a lot of tunes where it really wouldn't work. Even slow tunes like that. It's a new eyes, it wouldn't work, but I think where there's a constant melody going, you know, it's a... It really works quite well. Anyway, it's a thing to try, and that's all I'm using, just the straight string sounds. Not mucking about with it. Uh, on the go down, that's a control for it there. I've got it around about half. And then one thing I always say when you're playing the go down, obviously your volume control's there, but the most important one for me is the high frequency, it's the treble. That's one I usually find in real life when I'm really out playing. That's the one you sometimes have to push or pull back just to get it to cut through. But as you heard with me moving up and down the guitar, it's amazing sounds you can get to go down. Just again, just by moving your finger about. <laughs> It's 
worth her taking the time to explore that. Anyhow, I hope some of this was some help for you. I'm going to do uh, a wee bit more on this in the next lesson and uh, try and uh, prepare a bigger piece so we can really hear the sun coming into its own a lot more. So I hope you watch that and thanks very much for watching this and I'll catch you all later. Bye now.